for the top headlines. All media houses in Manipur resumes working from today. Chief Minister inaugurates Bandhan Bikaj Kendra Mela. President Darpati Murmu flags off two train services in Northeast. And India reports 2,786 new COVID cases, 12 days in the last 24 hours. Active case load has declined 26,509. Hello and welcome to Elite TV's Prime Time English News Bulletin. I'm your host, Dimita Hanjabam. Before giving you the news, we request you to follow the SOP given by the government. Wear face masks, run in public, wash hands regularly and maintain a minimum of six feet between one person and another. Elite TV requests you to get vaccinated in time to protect ourselves from this virus and play your point of fight against COVID-19. Now the news in detail. All media houses in Manipur decided to resume work from today after Imbog leaded stop publications of newspaper and a broadcast of news on local TV channel for two consecutive days since October 11th. The decisions come in the wake of a meeting of the All Manipur Working Journalists Union AMJU on Wednesday over the threat to media houses and media personnel following the internal wrangling of All Manipur Students Union AMSU. In a press statement signed by its General Secretary Kwarakpam Nauba, Amju said the issue started with the October 9 meeting to the fact-finding committee formed by the ex-officer office bearers of AMSU, which held a meeting at GM Hall in Imphal on October 9. After the meeting, there were lots of trades and a pressure from on the publications of the minutes and the proceedings of the meeting. Amju said and added that it decided to protest such pressure and decided not to publish any news related to Amsu until their internal wrangling is resolved. During the non-publication of news, members of Amju stage a sit in Dharna, urging all government and non-government entities not to put pressure on the media and let them work independently. Later on Wednesday, Amju, along with CSO, held a public meeting during which they upheld the resolutions taken up on March 5, 2021 by Amju, which stated that no news items involving internal issues within any organizations till, any, till they are resolved and all threats on the media resulting from such issues would be tolerated. Yesterday's meeting also upheld the resolutions of the AMJU and EGM last year that the two media organizations would work to serve the public independently, free from threats and influence from any outside force. After upholding the resolutions, AMJU on Wednesday decided to publish in the broadcast news from today onwards and seek support from all the concerned. <laughs> Resolution say, Sina Akwagi Sina, Yuningin, like a degree, uh, when a Tamjabi request me, uh, High River, Mahiro, Luke, Asigi, Marilla Naba, Pau Ponga Bogalina, Mahaka Mari Naba, Warong Yawa, Wapuma Amata, Kayumba, any Angle Madubia, Angle Madubia, High River Mahiro, Luke, Aduga, Adu Pau Ponga Bogalina, Maduga Marilla Naba, Pau Amata, Janadi Pau Ponga Bahaiba, Wapum Sina, when a Tamjabi. With an aim of strengthening the women's member among the Rongmai community, a three-day General Assembly of Rongmai, Lu Farm, RLP Assam, Manipur and Nagaland, AMN, was held today at Rongmai Baptist Church's Council Centre Church, Imphal, RBCC, CCI Conference Hall in Langol, Tarung. RLP functionaries from central state, district and area levels and other delegates attended the function. R RLP former President Dr. Aram Pamai and former Joint Secretary Arin Kamai were also felicitated by the RLP members and well-wishers during the program. 
Members attending the General Assembly were also reaffirmed their stand to give full support and cooperation to RLP in days to come. Speaking on the sidelines with Assembly sessions, RLP Interior and President Dr. Panti Gonmay opinions, opinions that it was 19 years ago since RLP was formed and on 16 April 2004 at Long, Long Mai Tree. They had accomplished such of objectives to promote women in the socio-economic, religion, cultural, political and moral sanctity and to bring about peace and communal harmony while fostering the all-round developments including physical and mental health and social and spiritual well-being. She also said that the RLP women had fearlessly endeavored to uphold the civil rights women dignity and families' well-being and even face the armed groups and missed guns and bullets to usher in peace while maintaining stability that saved many precious lives from pre being shot to death, adding to domestic violence and other cases of human trafficking, sexual assault, rape case and legal battle were also found justice through the RLP. ดาสิมารีมตงสิดาไปสบายนะไปมีสิมีดามรักสิดาไปมุ่งนะบ้างงามรวยดราไห้นะไม่อาจจะมีไปนะดราได้รับเรื่องบางสิ่งเราเราเ
Students and guardians of Sloplil Public School Kongjom today staged a sit-in protest strongly condemning prescribed outfit KYKL statement on banning the school. The sit-in was staged in front of the school gate, banners written as attempt to ruin the future career of the students in the name of monetary demand is strongly condemned were put up during the protest. One of the student protesters of the school said Slopland Public School is a residential school where students from outside the state are also studying. Upon hearing the statement of the outfit, the students of the school are in panic worrying about their future. The student protesters said an appeal to the outfit to withdraw their decisions to ban the school. Teaching and non-teaching staff of the school also took part in the sit-in protest. ดีมากดีมากดีมากชาติดีดีสิ่งที่ชีวิตนั้นทำอยู่ในสิ่งที่ไม่ได้ชีวิตมาทำอะไรที่ตัวนี้กันหนูชาติเราพูดยี่ให
akupa marol kita mak makada pije ribang contact number sida pang phone pila kita pati sinjari nine three double six three seven six two one zero natraga nine three six six eight seven zero five nine eight American Oncology Institute AOI amadi babina specialty hospital ani gi makada comprehensive cancer care ga loinana multi specialty service singi kudong saba sing bijeri kudong saba sing adudi neurology urology internal medicine general surgery critical care icu amadi palliative medicine of success. Get enrolled to one of the finest school in Northeast India, Unaco School, Excellence in Education. Welcome back again. You're watching LTB's Prime Time English News Bulletin. Chief Minister Nbirin Singh inaugurated the Vandhan Vikaj Kendra Mela 2022 at Manipur State Films Development Society in Fal yesterday. The Mela, which is an exhibition of the best of the Vandhan Vikaj Kendra worksmanship from all districts of Manipur, is organized by the Forest Department, Government of Manipur, under the aegis of Trifet and Pradhan Mantri Vandhan Yojana. Speaking on the occasions, and Birin Singh appreciated the officials of the Forest Department for dedications and the hard work towards saving the forest land of the state, adding that the revival of our forest areas has started. Maintaining that the state government is not against anyone or any particular community, he stated that the government had taken a various initiatives to preserve the forest for the sake of the whole society and for the future generations. The Chief Minister recalled that the Vandan Yojana was launched nationwide by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 14 April 2018 and was launched in the state on 14 October 2019 to help in transforming the economy of tribal people in the state. The scheme is now able to provide employment directly or indirectly to 41,918 members of the various self-help groups, he added. He informed that the government would try to complete the constructions of, of works shed and storage for minor forest production soon in consultations with concerned departments and officials. And Brin further mentioned that the state has huge potentials and resources which are yet to be explored. If value additions, proper packaging and marketing of forest products can be done, our products can also compete in the international market, he added. He also stressed the need to set up a food processing factory in a suitable place at Imphal. Rising concern on encroachment of reserve forest areas for settlement, he warned that legal actions would be taken up against officials who unlawfully give recognitions and approval for settlement in reserve forest areas. He also assured of all possible support from the government to all the self-help groups under various Vandal Vikaj Kendras in their efforts to promote forest produce and enhance their livelihood. And the rain sing also inspected stalls set up by 14 territorial forest divisions at the venue. Pam yan bag dege na kano kopi thano pam yan thapa todi ikong kome mai thado ko char ta huye madhu ki effectu na generation to generation oxygen one kani then ishing le roi then soil erosion lap kani adu ki mai yan thano ikogi ngasi ikoi na paisai am ting na isa foreign the light number thari ba ma pan the light number thari ba na hiye halap ko kanda di sor phone bhi aro yeh chado think of it. Aduh ni ngasih aku na forest kan tapi ada na sengai iba, honor iba, pot mayam se. Manipur ki forest protect iba, forest ni se. We are not against anybody. We are not against any tribe. Simply we are asking, let us protect the forest, those reserve forests. Let us protect the forest, trees, plant, where the protected forest is there. 
Forest, Environment and Climate Change Minister Thongam Biswajit Singh delivering his presidential speech stating the biggest challenges of our society are its economy and employment. Under the Pradhan Mantri Vandan Yojana PMVDY, 2127 Vandan Shell Help Groups has been set up by giving benefits to the 41,918 members, thereby improving their livelihood. We continue that the state government had taken a various initiatives for promoting travel enterprise, through value additions, branding and a better ways of marketing of forest products, Tribal Affairs and Hills Minister Ledbao Haukip, Principal Chief Conservator of Forest, PCCF, Dr. A.K. Josi, officials of Forest Department and members of cell help groups also attended the program among others. A quickie lady, a quick forest, a lady, a posse, a quickie. Tongan, but KFW to give project implement of Gera, not gonna compagi or get any schemes in stack when it's called Christians over the Kalin. A quina Pambini Hydena, a quina hoi, a quina flowering, a flower bearing plant, Haviai, water bearing plant, Haviai, so many canoe lady. The would be species, Kurdi, Sains of Yangasi, Skumba, Bandan, Yosnagi, Lako, the BDPK, the Tarkala import to the Sahimanga, Sangera, Tara, Sangera Masi. Continuously, at the Maku Leba Amaki economy, Panama, one of the Natraga, Yum Yum Kudimaki, a quick economy, Panama, the Mokamasi, the Pula, the Port of Mamasi continues in the Lehorni. As part of the program, take under men leave for the area that does not have proper treatment facilities. To know together about the treatment, Rims Community Medicine Department organized a health talks as part of the health program of Rural Health Training Center at Bishnupur Ward No. 1 today. The health talk was led by health educator Mega Chandra Maite under the ages of Reims Community Medicine Department HOD Kam Reims Dean Academic Brojan Singh Akhoijam. The interns were guided by PGTS Dr. Gitanjali, Dr. Priya, Dr. Sandra, Dr. Rishikanta, Dr. Isak, and Dr. Dinu and held the talks on topic cervical cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, and breast cancer in details by the interns. The participants at the health talks was were done tests on urine protein, sugar and blood group by the lab tech of the department while Gambir Shana Singh along with health check up and distributed free medicines. As per the order issued by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India, Dr. L. Rajin Ranjan Singh, Professor of Strictic and Gynecologist, has been appointed as Director Reams without any financial benefits. Dr. L. Ranjit will look after as Director for six months, that is 11th of April next year, till regular appointment of Director Reams of till further order from the Ministry. The entrustment of charge is subject to approval of Appointment Committee of Cabinet and, visi and Vigilance Clearance. The order issued with the approval of Minister of Health and Family Welfare said under Secretary to the Ministry as mentioned in the order. Members of Parliament, Darjeeling National General Secretary BJYM and National Spokesperson BJP Raju Bista today met with Chief Minister Andrian Singh and wishing him on the festival seasons and seek his blessing and to discuss issues concerning the development of our state. Raju Bista said under the leadership of Chief Minister Andrian, Manipur has made tremendous progress in every sphere, most important of all being the return of peace in our beautiful state. He said Chief Minister N. Burain, all inclusions leadership has ensured that all the communities and ethnicities living in Manipur get to participate equally in the development of our great state. Later, Raju Vista held a BJYM Manipur State Organizational Meeting attended by State President M. Baris Sama and the Manipur BJYM State Leader and District Leaders. He took stock of the various programs undertaken by BJYM in the state to commemorate the long month Seva Pakwada organized by BJYM nationally in honor of Prime Minister Narendra Modi birthday. An in-depth discussion on the youth-centric programs that BJYM will be organizing in the coming days, he said. Manipur BJYM has been at the forefront of social, economic and political transformations in the state. Raju Bista added and congratulated the team and wished them luck for all future endeavours. 
As a part of war on drugs, one kg of heroin number no. 4 powder was seized from a vehicle by teams of Commander Unit Kakching, while two persons were arrested yesterday. According to police sources, a total of 75 shop cases containing suspected heroin number no. 4 powder were detected in a seize from one Ford Eco Sports vehicle, silver in color, bearing registration number AS01BP6499. The driver of the vehicle identified as Boygin Guite, 18 years, and one one occupant, T. Lulun Simte, 28 years, were arrested. The arrested person, along with the seized articles, has been handed over to Kakching police stations for further legal actions, the source added. With an aim to create awareness on road safety rules, signs and measures to minimize the content accidents and ease road traffic congestions, the district administration accrued in collaborations with the district police, ADC and district transport embark on a walkathon come awareness campaign from mini secretariat Ukrul to Ukrul Higher Secondary School yesterday. Signs and a miking on the road safety regulations were held for information of all citizens. The awareness campaign also encouraged general public to carry valid registration certificates, license and abstain from reckless and drunken driving, while, which can cause lives. The road safety awareness drive was attended by DC Krishna Kumar, IAS SP Ningsem Vasum, AGM, Chungle Mang SDO Ukrul, Suranjoy Maibam Singh, AC to DC A Rohini and District Transport Office Wahidur among many other officials from various government departments. And now let's take a short break again. Stay tuned for more updates. Hey, Wang Lin! No, no. Matan the book to be chamo. No, no. Sasan Pumu Puma. Mishita Gidi. Mishita Gida Isha. Say, Pudra Chakradamani. Hello, Mr. Kava. I am back. Mahoksa, lighting me. Kusim of the Fazavi. Mapa late. パンガがなんか書いてるみんな。とんでらが書いてるみんなが。かりはいば。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい
Mrs. Murmu said Nordistan region, including Tripura, will pay, play an important role in making India a $5 trillion economy by 2025. She expressed confidence that the aspirations, innovations and entrepreneurships of the talented and hardworking people, especially the youth of Tripura, will play an important role in achieving this goal. MLAs from the Kerala Legislative Assembly visited Mijoram for a study tour. The delegation was led by Committee on Local Fund Accounts, COLFA Chairman D.P. Ramakrishnan. Yesterday, the seven members MLA team met with MLAs from the Mijoram Legislative Assembly. Today, Mijoram MLAs are represented by PUC Longmangpui Chairman, COLFA Mijoram, and three other members Nihar Kanti Chakma, MLA, Dr. F. Lalnun Mawai, MLA, MLA and Dr. Vanlan Lanpui MLA. Legislatures are discussing what the state's local fund accounts committee and its functions. Kerala delegations also met the Speaker of the Mijoram Legislative Assembly, Lalrin Laina Silo, at his office chamber. MLAs also visited Mijo Topical Village at Falkawan yesterday. Kerala MLAs will be leaving Mijoram today and proceeding to Silong. India registered a single day rise of 2,786 new COVID cases, taking the country's daily of infections to 4 crore 46 lakh 21,319, while the count of active cases has increased to 26,509, according to Union Health Ministry data updated today. The number of deaths due to the disease has climbed to 5 lakh 28,847, with 12 fatalities being recorded, including six deaths reconciled by Kerala. The data updated. Suit. Active cases now comprise 0.06% of the total infections, while the national COVID-19 recovery rate has increased to 98.76%, the ministry said. An increase of 217 cases has been recorded in the active COVID-19 case load in a span of 24 hours, the data showed. The daily positivity rate was recorded at 1.08% and the weekly positivity rate at 1.05%, according to the health ministry. The number of people who have recuperated from disease has surged to 4 crore 40 lakh 65,963, while the cash fatality rate was recorded at 1.19%, it said. According to the ministry, 219.15 crore doses of vaccines have been administered in the country so far under the nationwide COVID-19 vaccination drive. The six new fatalities reported include four from Maharashtra and one each from Kerala and West Bengal. For LTV News Channel, contact the email address info at LTV.in or 9402890982 and subscribe to LTV YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter for more information about the channel. And now let's take a look at headlines once again. All media houses in Manipur resumes working from today. Chief Minister inaugurates Bandhan Vikaj Kendra Mela. President Dorpati Murmu flags off two train services in Northeast. And in Jaipur, 2,786 new COVID cases, 12 days in the last 24 hours. Active case load has increased to 26,509. And that's a wrap for today. For more updates, keep watching a little English news. Thank you and have a good night.